All right, this is special tonight. Tomorrow, Central Park is going to be filled with runners as they head to the starting line for the first major in-person race since the start of COVID. Yeah, New York Roadrunners kicking off the season with the all-women mini 10K, and it's a G thing. G thing brought to you by Northwell, who believes when we raise the health of women, we raise everyone. Be a health raiser at raisehealth.com. The excitement is filling the air. Runners are getting ready to hit the pavement in Central Park for the first in-person race since COVID. New York Roadrunners is kicking off their in-person season with the MasterCard Mini New York 10K, an all-women's race, which holds a special place in Karen Badera's heart since she's run 36 times this same race. Why do you think they they had an all women's race to kick this off? It's quite flattering. It's quite an honor. I think it's a great way of saying we're back. Um, it's a positive, happy event, uh, and it's just it's just a way of saying okay, we're we're getting through this, and we're back. Founded in 1972 and named after the symbol of women's liberation, the miniskirt, this 10K race empowers women of all ages to come together to inspire others and accomplish milestones along the way. Tell me about the empowerment part. Coming over that finish line the very first time made me realize I could do anything I set my mind to. And as for setting goals and reaching them, Bronx-born Ted Matillis, the newly elected New York Roadrunners race director is the first black race director of an Abbott World Marathon, which includes this year's 50th New York City Marathon, which I'm excited to say I'll be part of. There's a rumor I'm coming in last. Don't believe it. No, no, no. <laughs> I see you out there hammering those miles on the regular inside the park. So I know you're out there and you're going to do well with the rest of the participants that we have running this November. Yeah, don't don't tell Corey that, our anchor. He's in training and mine is secret. Can you tell me your reaction when you found out uh, your new position as race director? I was, uh, I was quite taken aback, but I think um, the best feeling was knowing that uh, I'm following in the footsteps of greatness. And he's kicking off his tenure by bringing this running community back together for the mini 10K. So what does the in-person race mean? A little bit of normalcy, uh, bringing back an event with so much legacy, like the uh, MasterCard New York mini 10K. Uh, you know, almost 50 years that this event's been around, that brings a smile to my face. Being a part of that is, is, is pretty spectacular. <laughs> And there are some changes this year to the Mini 10K. In order to keep runners spread out, they cut the entries in half. This year, there will be about 3,000 women running that landmark race. And good luck to all of them. So yeah, fun. that is great. That's great. All right, Mr. G, we'll send it over to you. I'm excited to hear you're running this year. Well, I tell you what, uh, it feels good to know it's an event that I'm looking forward to. And tomorrow's a big deal event. I'm going to be cheering the ladies on. And good luck to you and Ted. Uh, good luck to you on the marathon as well.